businesses are boarding up in the Back Bay ahead of November 3rd over concerns of possible violence and unrest on Election Day. Seven's Michael Yoshida has the details. Businesses boarding up in Boston ahead of Tuesday's presidential election. Owners taking no chances of potential unrest following the highly charged contest between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. I think given the climate, it's a good idea. A lot of uh, political things is, is spilling over to Main Street, so I think it, it makes sense for businesses to do that. Over at the Prudential Center, they are beefing up security and taking extra steps in case there is violence after results are called. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh says currently there are no known threats associated with Election Day. But still, businesses and the city are taking precautions, with Boston police saying they'll have adequate resources available on election night. What's kind of alarming to me is that the preparation that we're putting into this election, uh, we've never had to put into election before. Um, I don't think any mayor before me, uh, I certainly wasn't asked in 2016, what's your safety plan for election day? Uh, we just went along with our democracy, and it really shows the divisiveness in our country right now. Sites of violence and looting following protests this spring are still fresh in the minds of business owners in the Boston Back Bay. Broken glass and damaged storefronts then on Newberry Street are now leading many to not take any chances this time around. Friday night, many stores telling 7 News they will be boarding up in the coming days and are planning on being closed Tuesday. Unfortunately, over the summer, something happened you know, on Newberry Street, and it was very hurtful for a lot of small businesses. So I think it makes sense for small business to protect themselves. And Boston Mayor Marty Walsh says that on Monday he will provide more information on Election Day security. Reporting in Boston, Mike Rushita, 7 News, Today in New England.